Wake up! Wake up! Uh, oh, awake finally. Hi everyone, welcome to Jalopy. Finally awake. Yes, mm, stay in bed any longer and the day will make fools of us both. Well, you're not in bed, Mr. Weird Jacket Light Shimmering Effect. What the hell's going on with your jacket? Uh, come now, I have something important to show you. Oh, I know how this works out, you filthy old man. Come, come, it's just outside. Oh, so, welcome to Jalopy, everyone. This is a bizarre little game where you have to try and get across Europe in a clapped out old car and just basically your objective is to maintain the car and keep it going and kind of like a little management tool. Oh, let's go back to bed. No, snooze, no. Everything's nicely interactable, which is quite good. We're in quite a, I was going to say grand bedroom, but it looks actually we're in, we're sleeping in the garage. Or garage, should I say. Um, okay, so we have uh, a toolbox. We have a bucket and sponge, or look, though it looks like a piece of Swiss cheese. We have cupboards with tyres and oil and cogs. Can't get into them. They're all locked. We've got a hazard tape. Um, tape to the floor. Looks like a selling point. I don't know why. Um, it is 7.30 in the morning. Wow. June 1990. Wow, June 1990. Ooh. 23rd of June 1990. So, in two days' time, it would have been my... 11th birthday? Yeah, 11th birthday. Wow. Two days before I was 11 years old. Amazing. Okay, so I don't know where we are. We are in some sort of... Oh, it's a garage. Obviously, you've got a huge spanner there. And, um... Lakia? Lakia? Oh, is that is that the manufacturer? The car manufacturer? Or oh, washing machine manufacturer, maybe. Okay, Grandad, what's up? Here is the Lakia 601 Deluxe. Well, I'm not going to lie, she's she's a beaut. Absolute beaut. Something of an engineering legend in the GDR. Wow, the GDR, what's that, the German Democratic Republic? Something like that? Wow. 0 to 60 k kmh in 22.5 seconds. Top speed of 100 k kmh. Uh, all at the economical rate of 9 kilometers per litre. Uh... I can't work that out because we work by gallon. So how much is a gallon? There's 3.5, 3.45 litres in a gallon. So that's around about 40 odd, yeah. Uh, no, that's around about 45, 50 miles per gallon, which is not bad. Uh, that's it, if we can get her running. Okay. Not to worry, I've got everything ready. We'll just need to build her an engine. Oh yeah, slap on some wheels, as you do. Fit a passenger side door and give her a bit of a clean. That sounds awesome. So let's get started. Fit the replacement door. It's over on top of this scrap pile behind you. <laughs> Surely not on the scrap pile. If you squint, you'll be able to see it. Squint, everyone. It's, oh, it's up there. I see it under the light. Yep. Okay, so we'll, we'll do this. This is health and safety. Oh, it's 1990. Health and safety didn't exist back there. So we'll walk on these pallets. Oh, God. I got it. Clunk. Uh, for fortunately, it wasn't being held on by anything, so it just came off in my hands. So, did you, I just... Boom! Less than elegant, but it's on. It's on! It's on, and it's got a huge dent in the side as well. What next, Gramps? Right! Now, let's fit the engine. Okay, yeah, let's fit the engine. Uh, if you open the driver's side door, you'll see a black latch. Pull that and release the bonnet. Okay, that's that's cool, yep. Oh, got hit. I got hit by the door. Do I need to get in? No, there we go. That's it, you got it. Uh, okay, now open the bonnet. I can walk you through this. Okay. Yeah, we got nothing. She's empty. So as you can see, it needs an engine. Yeah, I can see that. Thanks. I've got a load of stock parts sat in the garage. Go collect one, and I'll walk you through what it does. Right, I'll be back in a jiffy, Gramps. Uh, so where are these stock parts? Uh, here they are. Ah, so we have a stock 
Oh, parts sat in the garage. Go collect one and we can start. Okay! Okay, I'm here! Honestly, keep out of it. So what do we have? We have a carburetor. We have a stock fuel tank. We have air filter. We have the engine block. We have the ignition coil, water tank, and the battery. So let's take the engine. How much can we take in one go? Can we take the carburetor? Yes, we can. Can we take the air filter? Yes. Wow, we are strong as an ox. No, that's it. Okay, we can carry three things, which is fine. Oh, and I can move them around in my hands. That's the engine block you've got there. The core of the Lakier, Lakier setup. Uh, the engine block defines the core performance of your Lakier. I'm, I'm sure I'm pronouncing that wrong, but anyway. Including top speed and acceleration. Oh, wow. A poorly kept engine block will mean your Lakier will struggle to perform. Go ahead, drop it into the engine. If only mechanics was that easy. Right, that's the carburetor which controls the fuel consumption of the car, which in turn controls how many kilometers per litre you'll get out of your Lakia. Okay. A good, well-maintained carburetor will mean less, use less fuel and can drive further for cheaper. Go ahead, drop it into the engine. Does it go there? Yeah! Now you're holding the air filter, a non-essential non component. Oh, don't tell it that. It'll feel terrible. The air filter isn't necessarily required to run the lake yet, or Lakia, but it's a good idea to have one as it will reduce the rate of wear to your engine block. Go ahead, drop it into the engine. Nice. I'll go and get the other bits then, shall I? I'll be back in a jiffy. So this is obviously the tutorial I'm currently doing. Let's take out the fuel tank. Oh, we're not going to have enough. The water tank and the... Where the hell did that go? Oh, there it is. And the uh, the debris starter coil. Big lump of metal is the fuel tank. Yeah, gotcha. Which holds fuel for your leaky yeah. A few notes on this one. First of all, it's gravity fed, so you'll need to open the bonnet and fill directly to the tank when refueling. Okay. Also, it's running a two-stroke engine. Oh, really? Two-stroke? I've never owned a two-stroke apart from a lawnmower. This means you'll want to mix some oil into the fuel mixture. Wow. Failure to mix oil into the fuel will mean the engine won't, lub won't be lubricated and will wear at an increased rate. Too much oil though and you'll start to see performance drop. Keep your fuel tank well maintained, let it get too beaten up and we'll start leaking fuel everywhere. Go ahead, drop it into the engine. Bonk. That's the water tank which provides water to help keep your windscreen clean from dirt. Well that's okay. Keep it in good condition or it'll start to leak water and you'll soon find yourself driving without any vision. Well, that's okay. Go ahead, drop it into the engine. Blunk. This little thing's the ignition coil. The ignition coil channels electrical charge to start the engine. The ignition coil that's in bad condition may struggle to start the engine. Go ahead, drop it into the engine. Whoops, where does it go? There? There? There. Okay. So what's all this? What's all these things for? Obviously that back plate is going to be for the battery. Could we have malt? Have we got anything else in that? No, that's it. We just got the battery left. Uh, we got some water. We got some tools. We'll take them for defo. All right, Gramps. Got a bit of a hunch there. This is the battery which provides electrical charge for your Lakia Lakia. But they are really advertising the Lakia Lakia, aren't they? Blimey. The battery allows you to use the lights, the radio, the car ignition, that kind of thing. We've got a radio? Why am I surprised? Actually, it looks like we've got a light out as well. Um, if it won't start, the first place to check is the battery. Go ahead, drop the battery in. I can't drop the battery in. Surely the battery's got to go there. It's not going to go there. There's no other... Oh, wait. It goes there. Okay. What's that bit for then? Okay, that's everything installed. Good job. GG. Now fill her up. We'll get nowhere without any fuel. That's true. There should be a can of fuel, a bottle of water, and a bottle of two-stroke oil in the garage. Go collect them, and I'll walk you through refueling the car. Uh, how do I... How do I... How do I drop stuff? Oh, there we go. Dropped it. Okay, we're back in a jiffy. Wow, this tutorial is quite um, involving, isn't it? Here we go. Fuel, oil, water. 
That's a can of fuel. Oh my goodness. Okay, here we go. <laughs> you can use that fuel cap uh, on the fuel tank we just installed. You begin to fuel the car with fuel. Yeah, okay, we've got the fuel. That orange bar is obviously the fuel indicator. So if we pop that in there, glug, 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 glug. There we go. We keep a little bit from. Try holding there to fill it up quickly. No, that's fine. I'm now going to put some oil in. Uh, how does one. How does one. I, it won't let me uh, change things, so. Um, ramps. Ramps. Oh, there we go. It allows me to swap things now. For some reason, it wouldn't for a second. Um, uh, why has that gone into a different language? That's not helpful. Ah, oh, there we go. We're back into English. Thank God for that. <laughs> a lean mixture result in a faster car, but it'll increase your engine weight. Right, so th this is water. This isn't oil. So I'm going to... We'll put some water in. Is that full? I think that's full. Right, we'll, we'll finish putting the, the petrol in. Goodness me. And then we'll... And we can drop it with Q. Then we'll put some oil in. Oh my goodness. I, I wasn't expecting it to go to a different language halfway through. That was a challenge. Right. Done. Excellent. Let's get move. Oh, move on to the tyres. Okay, are we done in there? As you can see, won't go any far without any wheels. No, that's true. There's a jack over there in the garage. Bring it over and we can get started. Okie koki. Oh, yeah. Got a jack. Got some tyres. Oh, we can only carry three things at once. Mind you, tyres tires aren't light, are they? Um, so let's stick the jack under. Nice. Uh, can we just drop the tyres down? Yeah, there we go. So let's uh, jack it up. Yeah, we've got the uh, tyre iron in our hand. Go ahead and drop that. Okay, I'll drop that. I didn't throw it over there, mind, but... I know how to put tyres on a car, Gramps! Ah... Uh. I know, I know, I've done this millions of times. Ah, wait, hang on, maybe I don't know how to put a tire on a car. Let's try that again. There we go. It's like a F1 tire and it only has one actual bolt in it, which is quite good. Could, would you mind stepping back a little bit, Gramps? I can't quite get to the tire. There we go. Brilliant! Oh yeah. Let's go to the other side now. Who are you? Close the door. So yeah, this is the tutorial to get you, uh, give you all the basic knowledge you need to uh, keep the car maintained and moving. Now this, oh, it makes me want to drop. Okay, that if you drop that, that goes back to the the jack by the looks of it. Yeah, it does. Okay, that's fine. Oh, shut up, Gramps. Honestly. I know how to do this. Right. Clunk, clunk, clunk. And clunk, clunk, clunk. Now, along the way, we should be able to upgrade our engine and obviously try and keep her maintained along the various aspects of um, maintenance and trouble we may come across. Uh, I'll be in the car. Uh, you may want to load the trunk with any spares left over from the garage. You can never be sure when you'll need it on the road. Okay, fine. Uh, let's uh, jack her down. Pick up the jack. Pop the boot. And we'll put the jack in there. What do we have here? we got some water. We'll take some water. Okay. Um, we'll take our toolbox. Because, you know, toolboxes are important. And you can see they've all got a monetary value. So you can see sell and buy. So we can... Um, we can sell these at uh, various points along the, the way. Um, can I wash the car? No? Pop that down there. Maybe I've got to get the buck. The, there! Nope. Pop that down. Yes! Here we go. Let's give her a little... Is that cleaning it? Am I cleaning? Clean the uh, clean the lights, uh, the indicators. Yeah, we'll just give it a little bit of a, a sponge down. Clean the uh, number plate, so that's legal. Clean the back lights. 
I'm not sure this is actually cleaning. I'm just pretending. Right. Let's um plop, pop that in there. Right, so we've got a fuel tank. It's empty, but we could fill it up along the way. Uh, so we'll pop that in there. Can we pop that in there? Yep. And we've got some oil. Um, and as you can see, she's three quarters full still, so that's quite good. We'll keep that. Uh, what else have we got in here which we could potentially take with us? Anything? Cupboards look bare, don't they? Um, yep, that's it, Gramps. There's nothing left. Let's uh, leave that there. Okay. Um, is there any spares around the uh, around here? Anything in the bin? Come on. I'm expecting there to be a few spare parts around the, uh, the scrap yards. Come on. Maybe like a radiator or... Well, it's squished, doesn't it? Um, anything, anything else of use we can potentially load the car up with? Whoops. Clank, clank, clank. No, I think that's it. I think that's everything. Right. Pop the hood. How do we switch the light off? Switch the lights off. Can we close the garage door? No, we can't. Okay, we're off, guys. Tutorial over. We're off. Okay, before we set off, let's get you familiar with some important companions. Okay, when the tutorial's not over, guys. We're continuing. Here we have the maintenance manual. It will cover the basics running the car. Okay. In there, you'll find information regarding the basic overview of the Lackier vehicle. Details of your current engine setup. Listings of the cargo we are currently carrying. That sort of thing. You can turn the page by selecting the top corners of each page. Oh my god, we've actually got a car manual. Really? We'll have a look through that at a later date. As for now, we can drop it. Okay, let's just drop it. Next, you'll need the map. Yes, we will. Here's the map. This one is important, as it allows us to select which route you'll be taking between the destinations. Okay, so we're driving from Berlin to Dresden. Okay, and it's all 420 kilometers. Route 1, Route 2, and Route 3. And you can see the different weather there. Uh, okay, as you can see, our first destination is the CSFR border crossing near Dresden. CS... Oh, blimey. Come on. Come on, 1990s geography. Is that the Czechoslov... Czech and Slovak Fed... I don't know. Um, I've marked the potential routes I know of, including weather conditions and any stop off points along the route. Go ahead and select one now. Okay, so they've all got a fuel stop. Route 1 is sunny, Route 2 is rainy, and Route 3 is sunny. So, um... Right, okay, so my mouse is just a tiny little dot at the moment. So there's Route 1, Route 2, Route 3. Uh, let's go Route 1. We'll, we'll keep it easy. Done. Selected. Once the route has been selected, we then committed to driving it. Okay. And again, you can turn pages by selecting the top corners. Okay, fine. That's great. Uh, you can have a look through that later on. Go ahead and close that for now. Okay, it's got a vent lug. So we've got footsteps, distance driven, fuel used, rubber burns, uh, repair kits used, sales, purchases, profits, goods, deli goods delivered. Finally the keys. Ah, yes. I will need those. Pop them into the ignition. There we go. What's that? What's our passports? And my wallet. Or is that your wallet, Gramps? Well, it's money in it, so I bet it's mine. Right. I bet this whole car stinks, so let's open the window. Got a fuel tank, full tank of fuel. Um, we off, Gramps? You ready? You been to the toilet? We're not stopping. Right, okay, here we go. Uh, handbrake, maybe. There we go. We're off, peeps. We're off on our journey to Dresden. In our beautiful pea green 
not boats, but um, piece of crap. Anyway, our Lakia 601 Deluxe. 13 miles to Dresden. Okay, so begins the journey. So now what we do, we drive to the uh, various locations. Try. Whoa, sorry, I was a bit too sensitive on the old steering. Um, trying to make it to destination with minimum incidents. God, my driving is terrible. Head towards Dresden. Okay, we'll be traveling the autobahns for the first part. This should be give you a chance to get to grips with the Lakia. Lakia, whatever. She's got a beautiful sound to her. Oh, fortunately, the autobahns are empty. Um, so no problems there. Oh, look, a big tank on the memorial. It's like a roundabout. Should we stop and have a look? But this is all about, you know, having the adventure. So let's... Oh, there's another larder coming around the corner. It's probably not the best bit of parking. I'll probably get pinged for that. But let's stop and have a look at the uh, memorial. Me, me. Oh, I'm causing a traffic jam. I'm having a look at the memorial while I'm walking through the... Uh... Okay, we better get back in the car. So, along the way, you'll find broken down cars and bits and pieces which you can um, take. Okay, mate. I'm getting in now. That is a brilliant... I love that kind of horn noise. We're moving. Okay, the German Autobahn was brought to a stop standstill today as a silly leaky driver decided to get out and have a look at the tank. Okay, I guess we're going this way. Oh god, the steering... Oh, we just made it round. We'll come over here so we, we can let the uh, the fast traffic go by. Oh, it's, it's all cleared out. So this game is in early access at the moment and there's only a couple of um, areas that you can currently drive at. So I'll go through the, our journey a little with you. Oh, here we go. We're heading towards Dresden where we can cross the border into the che Czechoslovak Socialist Republic. Ah, that was close. No, wait, that's not right. They didn't, didn't they change the name recently? Mm, what was it? Gramps is having a moment. Um, so yeah, th there's going to be more of this game once they finish, uh, once it comes out of uh, early access and gets a full release. Um, but I thought I'd just keep... It's been an interesting concept of a game, basically trying to keep the car going and patching it up until you can uh, get to your final destination. And it says goods delivered, so I guess there's little jobs you can do along the way. I don't think they're currently in-game at the moment, but um, it's a novel little idea. I kind of like the the graphical styling as well. It kind of <laughs> Somehow it does encapsulate the 1990s. Um, what on earth did they change the name to? Oh, here you go. He's having a moment. Some lake over there. Anyone know the Dresden area? I wonder if there's any landmarks you can uh, pick out. Ooh, came over that quite quick. Look at this. We're doing we're doing 80 kilometres per hour. Oh no, we're doing 90. And if I turn right, we go faster. Look at this 85. We're slowing down a bit. That was it. The Czech and Slovak Feder Federative Republic. Uh, 40 years and now a wall falls over the decade. Fall, falls over, they decide to change the name. Okay. God, I can't read. I hope the fact that they've dropped the socialist from their name doesn't affect our passage. You and me both, Gramps. Anything come in? No. I can't trust my mirror. I don't have any glass in my mirror, so. Uh, or that one. Oh. You know, I did this journey the other way around many years ago. When I was much younger and names didn't escape me so easily. The world is a lot less turbulent back then. What, during the war? Are you kidding me, Gramps? Oh, we got smoke arising or steam coming from our engine. It's changed. The engine notes changed. Let's see if we can't pull in somewhere. Oh, she's still doing 80. So, uh... Whoops. Steady. She's getting a bit... She's dancing with the excitement now. The handling is not the best.
uh, we just stopped. I think I may have accidentally put the handbrake on by mistake. So we'll just actually pull off here onto the side and we'll just check the, uh, the car's okay. Okay, we are on the autobahn once again. Let's put our hazards on. Let's go out, see what the matter is, see if we can't fix it. You stay in there, Gramps. It'll be fine. Oh, I've got to unleash the hatch, haven't I? Unleash the hatch! Okay. Okay. Um, we got spanners everywhere, so I guess we can just use the spanner and the repair kit to... Uh... It's gone a bit foggy. Or is it night time? Right, so the... Everything seems to be... Okay, we may have run that a little bit too hard. So let's fix that. Okay, can we fix that? Yep, and fix the engine block. Okay, brilliant. I think we fixed it. Oh no, and that's our repair kit gone. Okay, well that should get us some of the way. We'll have to put our lights on, Gramps. It's getting a bit dark out. Come on, baby, start. Lights. Oh! What are you doing? Hang on. Can I see your papers? But what? You've just hit my lake. You oh! Stop hitting my car! You little mustachioed man. <gasps> what are you doing? What are you doing? The hazards are on! Oh! I mean, people, what are they like? He's putting all sorts of damage to my car. Is he getting out to check what the lights were going to be like? Honestly, these road goats, they're so... So aggressive. Honestly, anyway, we're back on the road. Everything seems to... Are my lights actually on? Yeah, they are, just about. I think my one light is on. It's not casting the most useful of lights. Uh, remember when there was a destroyed bridge at Sar uh, Sturiovo? Sarajevo? It crossed all the way over for, uh, from Hungary, but no one could use it. I wonder if they ever rebuilt that. I heard it was built... Oh god, I can't drive and read at the same time. I heard they built a bridge. Sorry, that was, that was you! That was me having to read your um, bubbles. I remember there was a just yeah you've done that one. I remember yeah you've done that one. I heard that they built a bridge that crosses the entire Bosphorus. What a sight that must be! Oh, oh god, watch out! It's all. I'm not going to say anything. It's the old ginger Hitler. Okay, let's go. We're going to try and blast it with the border. I've got all the paperwork sorted here. You shouldn't need to worry. Just whoa. Shut up, Gramps. You've already caused one accident. Okay, the first him ramming us wasn't your fault, but... Uh, Leipzig or... Oh, we can't go to Leipzig. Leipzig's off. Out of bounds. Oh, look, there's a box there. I'm going to chance stopping here for a second, Gramps. See what's in that box. Here he comes. Oh, he stopped this time. Stop! You... Uh... Can I... Are we making friends? Okay. Yeah, we got the box in. Right, now we just need to figure out how to put this in. There we go! Sorted! I got a box! I'm not sure what's in the box, but we've got a box. Let's go. Look, I don't know, the traffic obviously can't get around us. Now, there are things you can collect along the way. Now, I'm not sure what's actually in that box. I don't know what that noise was coming from behind. Uh, but there's, you know, there's going to be more content and stuff added to the game. At the moment, it's just the bare bones. Um, but it's, it's quite an enjoyable little thing. I can see this being, once they open up more of Europe... It's going to be quite an enjoyable little thing. 
Obviously, the driving's not the big thing here. It's about getting the, uh, keeping the car going. So let's come into the petrol station. Yes, Gramps. Can't you see what's happening in front of your very eyes? All right, pull into the petrol station. Super duper. I don't think we need super duper. Right, it might be an idea to fill our, um... Oh, look, we can wash our... Squeaky, squeaky, squeaky. Give it a good wash. Yeah, I thought we need... Oh, funny enough, I thought this was the light that worked. Okay, give our windscreen a quick clean. Quick clean all the way around. Lovely. Pop that back in there. Pop that back in there. There we go. Oh, there was just... Did you hear that? There's another big smash on the, uh... On the road, the horns are going. <laughs> Old ginger Hitler's making uh, more friends on the road. Oh, every time I forget to release the bonnet. Every time. Right. Um, I can't get through that gap. Apparently, I'm quite a wide... Oh, God. Sorry, I just knocked your pallet over. Need that as well. Just pop that down there. Pop that up. Um... So we need to uh, fill that up. There, why is the gate closing at the back? Right, can we fill this up as well? Yes! Oh, I love the um, pump noises. Lovely. Uh, we better put some oil with that fuel. We got fuel full of fuel tank. Why did that shut? That was a bit worrying. Especially in this time. It's um, a time of uh, a bit of unrest. Unease, should I say, more than unrest. Glug, glug, glug. Some oil in there. Lovely. Use quite a bit of oil now. Right. Uh, Gramps, can you hand me my wallet, please? There we go. Bake. You want anything from the shop? Do you want a Ginster's pastry? No? Coffee? No? Haribo? No? Okay. Evening! Wow. She's a buxom young lady. Hi there, you look a little lost. No, I've come to the petrol station. Just pick through whatever you need off the shelves and place it through the window. Okay, lovely. Yeah, when you have everything you need, you can pay using your wallet. I thank you, that's very kind of you. Uh, stuff! Oh no, stuff! What's this? What is it? No. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Could have some wine. Let's take some wine. Uh, 39. Oh, that's expensive wine. Can't afford that. Uh, what have we got here? We got some uh, pills. Medicine. Okay, that's medicine, I'm guessing. We got a toolbox. Let's take a toolbox. Uh, what do we have here? We have. I don't even see what that is. Some snacks. Yeah, we'll have some snacks. Some cigarettes. No, we don't want cigarettes. Uh, we don't need water just yet. We might take some oil. Oh, I'm full. Hello. Yeah. That, please. Uh, we'll have some oil. $50. Oh, 50... Whatever we use. Deutschmarks, I guess we're using back here, are we? Okay. Let's, um... You can pull out that lever to cancel the transaction. <laughs> Look at that brake lever to cancel the transaction. Okay, um, I'm not sure what I did with my wallet. I may have dropped it on the floor somewhere. Hang on. I definitely brought my wallet out with me. Hang on. Maybe it's gone back to the car. I'm not sure where my wallet is. Has my, Has my wallet back here? Honestly, right. Go and pay the nice lady. Ego, my love. I remembered my money. Hello. Hello. There we go. Money paid. Thank you. We've got 45 left. Oh, I'll be back for the rest. Hang on. We don't do bags, so... Uh, there's the wallet. Uh, let's pop that. Can we... Can we... Right, so that's got air holes in it. What we need is like a something to break that lock and then we can have a look what's in there 
Shoopy doopy doo, shoopy doo. Do you have it? Good morning. Oh, it's the mor morning already. Okay, so we got tires we can buy as well. Do you have any tool or like um, lock breaking apparatus? Like a crowbar or maybe it's lock picks? No? Okay, well, we'll, we'll make do. Shoopy doo -boo. Let's see what we can get in the car. We may be struggling a bit now. Uh, I may have bought a little bit too much. I'm kind of. Okay, got some more oil. Gramps, do you want some snacks? Can I can I not put the snacks in the back of the car? The snacks are in. Uh, hang on a minute. Let's put that in. Uh. Right. Um. Okay, we're gonna have to. We can't take everything. Right. What we'll do, we'll repair the car here, and what we can't take, we'll um, we'll sell back. Sounds like a plan. Sounds like a plan. And we need to get a uh, a debris as quick as possible. Oh God. Yeah, I didn't mean to pit, take the engine out. Hang on. She's back in. Right. So let's sell this back for uh, $5. Or five Deutschmarks. Thank you. How do I get my money? Wallet. We'll get better at this, I swear. There's still an accident on the road. So we're not, we're not missing too much out. There's still an accident. Oh my goodness. Lovely. Okay, we got our money back. Or oh, the five dollars. Oh, I keep calling it dollars. Sorry, Deutschmark's back. Right, lock, 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 locked. I can't get through there. Right, ready to hit the road, Gramps? Do you need a wee? You okay? Okay. Lights on. Let's go. Oh, wait, there wasn't any bulbs there. Uh, do I just... How do I get out of here? Hmm. I guess we go out the way we came in. Okay. Okay, we're back on the road. Bit of a late night driving. So that's good. We've repaired the car. Of course... You can upgrade the car uh, if you come up to a a dealership. You can actually um, buy improvements. Put your lights on um, to your car. Whoa, okay, another roundabout. There's the town. We should head straight for the motel and get a room for the night. Oh, I guess we could. Oh, there's crashes. But they aren't exactly as zippy as we are. So what we'll do, we'll put it into the uh, the hotel for the night and uh, see if we can't find ourselves a motel. Okay, grabs. We'll cross into the board. Okay, we'll do that tomorrow morning. So welcome to the little town, everyone. This is Dresden, I take it. What is this? Ah, so this is another Lakia stop. So if we have a quick stop here, I know you're tired, Gramps, but we won't be. We're only having a little pit stop. Don't worry. So from here, we should be able to um, buy some... Evening. We should be, uh, look for our catalogue. Yeah, yeah. So we have a look for the catalogue. Lovely. Uh, here we go. So we can upgrade our engine. Do -do 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 Small two-stroke engine. The green two-stroke engine. Um... And then we can look at fuel tanks, carburetors, air filters, ignition stocks, triple barrels, wow, batteries, various water tanks, extras, bull bars, mud guards, roof rack. Oh, we haven't got 300. We haven't got enough money. But as you can see, there's potential. If you're going to drive all around Europe, you'll want the mud guards to keep it clean. You'll want the bull bars for 
people crashing into you, you'll want the roof rack to uh, load all your your jazz and stuff onto. Right? How does one how does one cancel out this? Yeah, I didn't actually order anything, but thank you. Thank you. Come again. There we go. Cheers, bud. Just wanted to have a look. Okay, so there are the options we have available to us with the upgrades. Definitely need to get a headlight. We should have maybe got a headlight. But we're okay. Let's go and find a motel and we'll, we'll call it quits. We've had a long day. Come on. Come on, baby. Keep it going. Keep it going. So as you can see, there is potential in There's a lot of potential in this game, actually. And once it's finished and fully released, I think it's going to be definite worth a playthrough. Um, but this is just a, a little taster video. There's an outer shop. I don't know what that is. Where's this motel? Motel, here we are. Thanks, Gramps. Here you go, got to stop here. They don't look very busy, so I'm not going to worry about my parking. Have a break off. Lights off. Get the window up. I guess I'm paying, am I? I'm not going to leave my car wallet in the car anyway. That's just dangerous. Asking for trouble. Right, should we check in? Yep, yeah, checking in. Ow. Midnight. Welcome. Will you be staying with us tonight? I guess. If he makes it. Uh, I'm not going to actually pay until he actually makes it to the room. He may fall over dead any minute. He's, he's, he's of that age. With his shimmering jacket. I, you need to change your jacket, Grant. Where are you off? You can have a sit down. Okay, he's just going to stare at the light for a bit. Is that okay? That's 20 for the room. Oh, there you go. You'll be still in 1B just down the hall. Thank you. Kindly do not disturb the other guests. Okay. I'll be in the room if you need me. Okay, Gramps. 1B. 1A. 1B. Oh. There we go. We've got 30 Deutschmarks left. That's not a lot of money. And we can go to bed. Right, guys. So, um... I'll, uh, you always got to check, test the toilet, haven't you? Gramps, oh, there you are. thought you died long away. Switch the light on. Um, so I'll leave it there, guys. This has been your first look at Jalopy. Quite an interesting little game, actually. I really like the concept, and I think this is going to be an absolute cracker. Um, you could visit the market to trade or upgrade the car, the lucky dealership. Just use the bed when you're done for the day and we can get some sleep. Okay, Gramps, I've got 30 Deutschmarks left. I'm not really going to... Oh. My wallet just flew out of the window into the car outside. Amazing. Okay, so I'll leave it there, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. This has been your first look at uh, Jalopy. Very cool and interesting looking game. Can't wait till more content comes out. If you want to see, uh, potentially there's potentially enough content in here to maybe get another video out, but probably that's it. Um, but I may do that if this is reasonably popular. If not, well, that's fine. You've had a first look at it. You've probably already switched the video off by now. Anyway, I'll leave it there, guys. Th thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy this, and I'll see you next time.